Uh, hello friends, my name is Hamid. Today I'm working on this uh, cooler. This is the cooler that you can see for this grocery store. This customer's complaint is that uh, he plugs it in uh, after running it for a couple seconds uh, it shuts off the breaker so if you look at the compressor on the top of the compressor there's this reading LRA uh, log rotary amperage if the compressor is drawing that amperage the compressor is defective usually the compressors are drawing around 1 amp 2 amp maybe the highest um, like maybe a couple amp amperages more but if it's drawing only with like 48 amps or less than that even 20 amps it's still not good uh, first of all I check my my pressure on the compressor my pressure reading is Good. It shows 60 pound, which is normal. Um, if you refill your compressor with extra freon, that will also cause the compressor to overheat, and then that will also cause the breaker to uh, go off. So, as you can see, to get the amperage reading, this is my wire. I had to cut this wire, one of the wire, to get the amperage reading uh, with this knife. This knife, I, I cut this wire but that goes to the compressor. And this is my multimeter that you can see. I have a whole button that I can get the amperage reading. Uh, I was getting 43.2 amps which indicates the compressor is already defective so again I'm gonna plug this in here on the wire leave it there and I'm gonna plug this in and you will see that there how many amps this uh, compressor draws okay, so this is the electrical wire you will see it just gonna plug it in That's 43 amps. The breaker is off already. So this indicates that I have a bad compressor. I need to replace this compressor. Uh, thank you for watching my videos. If you have any question, please comment below.